blood on a splatter. Skin color's what kills the kids, right? You think he'd do it different if he thought this was the last day he lived? Mama with the tears. She's bending down on all fours, hoping that the life they took, hoping it wasn't yours. God, protect him, she says. He don't know that he was born into it, into prejudice, discrimination. He don't know he was given tools to do it, to fail, you know, to break, to struggle. They say life is what you make it without telling you that they made it for you first, without openly letting you choose your own hearse, without writing fear across your forehead, without giving you the option of being a king, even without choosing to treat you like a human being. God, protect him, she says. Don't let him take advantage of the air he's breathing. He don't know that bullets are friendly here. He don't know that one day he might meet one. So tell him to smile. Even when there's knives in his back, tell him pain is a part of who you are, but it is not what you are. Make sure he never lets them catch him lacking. God, give him a voice, she says. But do not make it the reason he dies. Tell him you must have an opinion, but you must also be wise. God, protect him. She says, he don't know that they expect him to be silent, to break in their presence, to fall face first in their system. He don't know they see his skin color as violence, that his hoodie is a threat to them, that his questions are like weapons to them, that his life is not something he can trust them with, so God Please protect me. Did you hear that gunshot? Did you hear life being ripped away? Time being stripped away? Do you hear screams? The bitter disbelief of time stopped. There's no heartbeat, no blood flow, no air to breathe, no words to speak. It's silent. Deliver us from you. She protected him. That is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever.